Dance Company, and we are here today to show you our beginner acro um, dance class. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm up. That is how we start our warm up. Jumping jacks. We start with jumping jacks. We do 16 jumping jacks, open and close, right? Okay, and then what comes after jumping jacks? Frog jumps. Frog jumps, where we touch the floor and we're going to shoot it all the way up as high as we can go. Okay, what comes after frog jumps? One count of eight frog jumps and one count of eight uh, marching. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah.
want to make sure that they're doing all the way up and all the way down every single time because that's how you warm your back up, right? Okay, press it back up, right foot to the head, close those knees.
baby bridge, we're going to take it all the way up into the tabletop. Okay, and you're going to start tabletop, so you start sitting on your bums, yes, and they're going to lift their bums up as high as they open their legs. Yep, they're going to look behind them, and they're going to hold for 10 seconds up to higher. No, up to higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. For more advanced ones, we can take it back up. Four, five, on the left, switch. One, two, three, four, and five. Go over your knees, rock and roll. One, four, four, rock and rolls. Two, three, and four. Okay, and you wouldn't, maybe you wouldn't have guessed this, but rock and rolls are really going to help them to develop strong tummy muscles. So rock and rolls are sometimes difficult when they first start, right? Yeah, it took Alice in a while to get to hers, and eventually they build up the stomach muscles to do the rock and rolls. Okay, stay there, come. If your students are advanced enough, you can start to teach them a full back bend. Okay, so come onto your backs. Show them your back bends. Yep. So I have them looking down at the mat as much as possible. You're in table thought, so let me, on your back. So come back down on your back for me. Yep, they're going to bend their knees close to the bums. They're going to put their hands right by their shoulders. Okay, and if you need to spot them, make sure they're heading off the floor. Go ahead, press up. You're just going to lift slightly underneath their chest and underneath their bums to support them. Okay, next we're going to show you box pose. So they start on their knees. Yep, they're going to lean back and grab their feet and take their head back. So she turns all the way to the side here. Yeah, hold it. It looks like that. Okay, kind of go. You're going to grab those feet and take it back, and you're going to have them hold. So it might take them a while to get this. So if they need to, they can start one, one minute at a time, lift, and then you can switch, and then eventually they can take both hands down. Okay? Again, this is making them activate their glute muscles, right? And their hamstring is in your back. Nice. So that was the end of your, your beginner pre warm up on the floor. We're going to go into our center technique, which includes headstands, we have our heads, elbow stands on our elbows, and handstands on our hands, and starting a chest balance. Okay, so let's go ahead and show our headstands. We're going to put our hands on the floor. We're going to put the top of our heads on the floor. Come a little bit closer if you're not, so come to the middle of the night. You're fine. Good. Bye. 
our handstands. So after our center work, we're going to go up against the wall here. You're going to have your students place their hands on the floor and walk those feet up the wall and hold. Okay, make sure their ankles are together. And they're going to hold this position as long as they can. When they get a little bit more advanced, they can start to lift one foot up off the wall, point to toes and hold for five seconds. And then they can take the other foot. Oops, go back up. Okay, now lift your other foot. Point hold. And come down. So when it comes to your students doing handstands, it doesn't, it's not really important where their hands are and you know in relation to the wall. It's just about building up their muscles right now. And then you can go back and tweak everything and make sure it looks nice and clean and perfect, right?
together. And forward fold, touch those toes with straight legs. Get these legs straight, and this is what you're working on. <laughs> okay, so let's lift feet together nice and tall. Walk those hands down, stretch it forward, go to your toes, hold. Thank you.